start of another day at Daisy Chain. Another day of hope for families across the Tees Valley who have children with autism. An ordinary day for most families, families whose children don't have autism. But for those who do, no day is ordinary. Um, it makes it very difficult for us to go anywhere. She, she gets overwhelmed quite easily and it can result in huge temper tantrums, crying, attacking people. When you've got a child with autism, you tend to build yourself a little bubble and you don't let anybody else in that bubble. Whereas here, all our families are the same. We're all living in that little bubble, but here we can open up. Alison Davis walks through Hull Railway Station with her 12-year-old son, Ryan. He has autism and Alison is desperate. So desperate that this loving mother took his hand and they jumped to their deaths from the Humber Bridge. It's hard to understand such depth of despair. Daisy Chain can. Every day people come to us near the end of their tether. They're desperate for guidance and support, searching for understanding and hoping for help. They can, at last, find that, thanks to the vision of one special woman, the founder of Daisy Chain, Leslie Hansen. I kept having this dream over and over of a farm that had so many different things in it. A place that children could go and have lots of fun, and um, that they wouldn't just be babysat. And I just kept seeing children laughing and playing. I mean, some people think it's bizarre, but it happened. That's the way it happened. Sadly, Leslie is no longer with us. She passed away in January of 2004, but her legacy lives on in Daisy Chain. The importance of respite care for families who have children with autism lies in the nature of the condition itself. We don't know what causes it and we can't cure it. But these children don't crave a kiss and a cuddle. They don't seek affection. Often, they don't give it. Children with autism can um, find it very hard to interact with other people. Uh, they can get very agitated and disruptive if they if things are happening around them that they can't control and don't understand. And what Daisy Chain do at the farm um, is provide an environment that is um, predictable, it's safe, it's calm. MENCAP recently updated a survey first carried out in 2003 into the continuing problem of caring for children and adults with severe and profound learning difficulties. So little had changed, it was shocking. Families are still left to reach breaking point, experience ill health and lead diminished lives as short break services are not being provided. Seven out of ten families have reached or come close to breaking point because of a lack of short break services. And seven out of ten families have received no offer of a short term break. Slowly but surely, Daisy Chain is able to provide a wider range of support for families, friends and carers. It, it's very difficult to take a child like Charlotte to any, any of the usual children's entertainment. So for Daisy Chain to provide exclusive activities for children like her is absolutely essential. It's, it's like a lifeline to us, it really is. The support that you get from here isn't just support for Matthew, it's support for her us as a family you know we have another child and being able to talk to other parents how they cope with their siblings and how their siblings cope with having a brother or sister with a disability um, so from that point of view it's been a bonus for us. The link support group is great because parents and carers can get together and talk about issues that that affect us every day. Not to mention visitors such as these regulars from Abbey Hill Special School in Stockton. We know we've got a long way to go, although we have made some big strides in a fairly short space of time. But there's plenty more to be done. Work is now underway on the site which will become home to our new day centre. It might not look like much now, but just wait. There are plans for a 10-bed overnight stay centre still to come. 
we know we've only just scratched the surface, there is so much work still to be done and so many families waiting for us to do it. We need your help and support to bring that about. In one word it's fantastic. It provides the opportunity for autistic children and their families um, to really excel if you like. And it just feels like I belong here and my daughter belongs here and there's not many places I can say that. We had life without Daisy Chain and there was nothing to look forward to. Help give them something to look forward to. A place where every day ends in hope. Yeah.